Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch. I'd like to welcome you to a playthrough of a brand new point-and-click adventure that I've been looking forward to playing ever since I heard about it in 2020. I'd like to welcome you guys to Strangeland. Now, this was published by Wajidai Games, who is one of my favorite independent game companies. They have published and developed what I consider to be some of the best point-and-click adventure games of all time. And this game was developed by Wormwood Studios. And Wormwood Studios, I've been looking forward to a new game from them ever since I played their first outing, Primordia. Primordia was one of the most unique point and clicks I ever played in terms of environment and atmosphere and setting. It was dark and eerie and surreal, but funny at the same time. And uh, this is their newest outing, so I definitely had to play it. So, uh, and if this is any indication, we are about to get a whole lot more of the dark and surreal, which I appreciate. So let's get a new game started and see what this is all about. The music's already awesome. Purple eyes. I don't want to tell you a joke. I don't want to tell you anything at all. But you know the problem with me? I never could keep my big mouth shut. <laughs> and we have the carpet rolled out for us. And if that doesn't set a tone for what this game is going to be, I don't know what will. Walk, use, talk, and take, and right click to examine. All right. All I know about this game is it has to deal with a surreal carnival, and it looks like this is the entrance. So, um, whew. hello. Leave me alone. I already told you a joke. He's on break, apparently. Not very inviting. It's an ad for Nepenthe. It reads, Quaff, oh quaff, this fine Nepenthe. Win a bottle today at the shooting gallery. Okay. It's an ad for oh. win a Okay, I right clicked and left clicked to give me the same thing. It says, not all attractions are suitable to all ages. Visitors are encouraged to exercise judgment. Pretty vague as warnings go. We'll just read all the signs. If you can read this, you're already too close. Too close to what? Looks like they really want me to go in. What could go wrong? Looks like they really want me to go in. So can we go back to where we started? It doesn't look like it. All right. Let's head inside the creepy Statue of Liberty's mouth. I expected the mouth to close, actually. Wait! Goodbye, my love. She's gone. Not gone, Querent. Nearly dead. Again and again she comes to this well, to weep and leap at the sound of the shriek. Which of you will save the other? Oh, I'm gonna like this. And we got some runes on the floor. We've got a fortune teller. A payphone. Stranger in a strange land achievement unlocked, alright. Exit. We've got a crow. There's something moving down there. And a hint of golden light. 
As long as it's not Samara, I think we're in good shape. It's a coin-operated fortune teller called Murmur the Magnificent. I need to put in a quarter. Oh, okay. Probably the quarter's at the bottom of the well. Fair enough. It's a payphone. Listen, the thing you have to understand is, this is all your fault. You miss all the obvious signs. You let everything slip through your fingers. And you're no good at fixing things. That's why she's dead. That's why you're here. Right. Anyway, I'll call again later. But if you need help, and you will need help, please hang up and press zero to dial your operator. Wait! Holding the phone like that reminded me of the... Colin Farrell and phone booth. He sounded just like me. So is this like a inside this guy's head? Because you see he's in a straitjacket and he broke broke out of it before heading over here. Maybe just complete regret over someone's suicide? I'm already making assumptions. Because we gotta wait for the game to play itself out. A large crow. Raven. Oh. Uh hello? Sticks and stones will make me groan, but words will never move me. <laughs> I think I know that you voice. Know, you oh. could try following her. I think I know that voice actress, actually. Okay. Um. Sure. It's a long way down, but I could give it a shot. All right. Like, we're in a time loop. I thought this looked like an item we could interact with. I have rocks. Cycle items. Okay, that's cool. I like point and clicks that utilize the mouse wheel. Just some rocks. Strange land. A bit on the nose. It's definitely got some accurate branding, doesn't it? Okay. We'll head back here. Not this again. Here's one for you. Man sitting in his doctor's office. Doc says, and now here's the good news. Man says, Doc, you didn't even tell me the bad news. Doc says, not this again. <laughs> Jeez, it reminds me of uh, Clown from Spawn. Now are we going to see her go through the... Well again? No. All right. Interesting. So how do we egg Okay, what is where do the exits take us? Do we just cycle out? Oh. A huge furnace with 83 painted on it. That is my name. 83. Good, good year. That's when I was born. Vents, anvil, Another arrow. What are you? I am the fire that burns the impure. Oh, so you're from Warhammer. What's that anvil for? Like the bear that licks its cub into shape. With a tongue of fire, I forge from ore upon the anvil whatever thing I wish. There was a golden-haired woman who threw herself down a well. The bellows gasped on the day she was made. Can you make something for me? I can make anything. Bring me a work order and lay your medal upon the anvil. 
Oh, we need a work order. Okay. But who was she? A flawed thing that fire could not save. Goodbye. You have said so before. It's just waiting for something. Not a good idea. Okay, I was wondering if we could hand him the rock, if that would count as ore. It's venting steam. Some kind of tracks leading to the top of the park. Whoever built this place certainly doesn't trust me to find my own way. Exit. Sure. Telescope. It looks very Gigerish. Ooh. What was that? It's a telescope. Doesn't even require a quarter. What the? Ah! That's it! That shadow! That's what's making that sound! That's what's killing her! I have to destroy it! Okay. What an idiot grin. Whoa. Hi. Pupper. It's chewing on a piece of metal? Um. I have a feeling we just need to vacate the premises. I had a similar situation happen in the uh, Another World game. Or Out of This World, whatever you want to call it. Let's try the Northern Exit. Just look at all the things. Pick either direction, but definitely go left, I guess. The hole's just big enough to reach through. Yeah. Got it. Sure is heavier than it looked. It's an eye in something horrible. It's a good 30 feet out of reach. I'll oh, need wow. to get into the tent first. Okay. Let's not worry about that then. I guess some attractions are always out of reach. Just making sure we're not on a pixel hunt, you know? Let's follow these signs first, and then we can go off the beaten track. Step right up! Step right up! Win yourself a bottle of Nepenthe! The brew that puts a bullet in all your bad thoughts! Wow. They're just going there, aren't they? I guess it has something to do with the shooting gallery? I think there's some kind of circuitry behind this plate. There's no latch, and the edges are too tight for me to pull it off with just my fingers. So I bet that piece of metal that the dog has is actually like the screwdriver we could use to get this cover off. It's some kind of shooting game. The loudspeaker said I could win a bottle of Nepenthe. I imagine I need to use the gun. Ten hits get you one hit, and one hit's all it takes to bring blessed sleep. Oh lord. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, so close. Try I guess I need to again. shoot the heads when they light up. Okay. Step right up. Step right up. Okay. I didn't know they were actually like shooting. Try again, try again! 
All right. Figured it out now. Got to make those noises. Yeah. Ooh, gotta be quicker than that. Oh, so close. Try They're still too damn it. fast for me. If only there were some way to slow them down. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It's locked. I'm gonna try one more time. It has to be like an achievement to do this without the... Oh, so close! Try again, try again! Hmm. Another mind quake. Okay. Now let's head this way. Ooh. Who? Who's there? Did you scare off those nice doves? Come closer. Let me hear you. Sticks and stones will make me groan. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. A raven. But not a huge raven, apparently. It's a you. Ahem. <clears throat> it is the you. Bird bath, old man. Constellation. Nothing else. Oh. It's an empty bird bath. It had water once, but the deeper he drinks. The dimmer grows the mind of many a man. An empty birdbath. Recurrence. He's just writing down whatever the raven says. Oh, yes, indeed. His eyes, they're gone. But my ears are just fine, stranger. And they're burning. Oh. Who are you? I'm afraid I don't rightly know. I'm just an old fool who can hardly remember what he's read, much less who he is. I do recall a book that said, each is his own judge. That might just have to do. Can't you just tell me who you are? Seldom do those who are silent make mistakes, so I think I'd best hold my tongue. There was a golden-haired woman who threw herself down a well. <sighs> no sickness is worse to one who is wise than to lack the longed-for love. But who was she? Who are we to rob each other of our forgetfulness? After all, it's written somewhere that the learned man whose lore is deep is seldom happy at heart. So, can we just keep on clicking on these until... Can you at least tell me your name? Well, I remember the name Fimble Famby, but whether it's mine, or yours, or both of ours, I can't quite say. Okay, there we go. What are you writing? The same things I've written a thousand times before. After all, an act can lose meaning. If you do it often enough. Where are we? I wish I could tell you. The man who stands at a strange threshold should be cautious before he crosses it. I read that once, I think. This must be the guy who does the fortune cookies. Did you mention doves? Yes, I feed them as they flutter by. I find it soothes my mind. Are they here?
Do you mean that crow? Raven. No, I mean the doves. It was the raven who told me of them. Are they here? No. Um... No. Ah. You know what? I bet we he'll try and feed them and we grab something for an item. We'll wait on that. I keep hearing a terrible shriek. What is it? The dark thing. I would like to know more. What is the dark thing? A shadow locked away up there, festering. Some boils are better left unlanced. How can I reach the dark thing? A word leads to a word. A deed to a deed. For silver, he speaks. Is wisdom worth gold? I read that once, or maybe I wrote it. I suppose it doesn't much matter, one way or the other. Can you write me a work order? No. I only write what I've written before. The words stuck in my mind, and the lost words the raven finds. Okay. Can you tell me anything about Murmur the Magnificent? Wise and weighty be the word of his mouth, and his head was too good to bury. Whatever that means. I'd say I can't make heads or tails of it, but then I'm not much one for puns. Uh huh. Well, let's, uh. Why is that bird bath empty? Once it was filled with fresh well water, as cool and clear as a sound mind, but doves and ravens would much rather bathe in dust. Maybe they can't abide their reflections either. What happened to your eyes? I fed them to a raven. He said it would bring me wisdom. Did it work? Are you wiser? Oh, yes, indeed. I learned that to be blind is better than to burn on a pyre, and that it is easier to be rid of your eyes than the vision that offended you. Hmm. Let's see if we can go ahead and grab something. About the doves. Are they here? Sure they're here. Ah, then let me find a crust of bread. There we go. Oh, that is meat. A scrap of meat. For the I'd rather think of it as bread for the doves. You can grab that for the doggie. Condolences. I have nothing to say to him. I can't use this as a work order. Maybe we have to get him to the raven to say, say to say something specific. It seems to be ignoring me. Can we hit it with a rock? Let me line this shot up. The head, the body, okay. I don't want to hit it in the... Try. Hidden the legs. My claws! Did you say claws? I don't need the target practice. Oh. Okay. Um. This could be useful. Wife. I still have rocks, right? Yes. My wing. Huh? Wing? Okay. It's illegible. Ah. G is the cruelest letter for a blind man to write. Phone call. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Time for the headshot. 
my beak. Beak? Hmm. Okay. There's nothing on them but nonsense. Childhood. Oh, we got a noose. A noose. I wonder how it got there. You were the one who tied it there. Tried hanging yourself. Did it make you any wiser? I'm not sure. I don't remember. That's why I write things down, you know. So as not to remember. Don't you mean to forget? Yes, I do mean to forget. Wow. Do we... I can't quite reach it. Okay. I was about to say. Like... Abstraction. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can go get, get the doggy some food. Oh wait, that is the... Step right up! Step right up! Wrong spot. And there's still another section we haven't gone into yet. Hey, three. I like the A3 because it reminds me of Primordia with like all the talking machines. Okay, pupper. Sorry, buddy. We'll go this way. But we do have spike, which I appreciate. Now, I don't know if we have the, the ore that A3 needs to make anything yet. But we're just going to try... We'll try using the spike as the screwdriver first. And I guess we always have the, uh, the operator if we need it for something. The edges are too tight for me to pull it off with just my fingers. There's some kind of circuitry behind the plate. Okay. Sliding the spike into the hole might give me enough leverage to pop it open. Do it. There we go. Ah. Hand, hand, hand. So this is going to allow us to... Huh. They seem to move together. Two of them do, yeah. So one of them's kind of the base here. They were all lit up though when we had them. And I think we just died. So we got some King's Quest death stuff going on here. Interesting. Alright, guys. I think this is a good place to I've go... I've got plenty. This is a good place to go ahead and end the first episode of the series. Um, it has definitely got my attention. And I'm really liking the vibe of it so far. And I hope you guys are too. And we will pick this up in the next episode. If you guys liked it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.